And we spoke in, in can this year for Radio Bing, and we talked about the Wolf, mm -hmm. which you're doing with our partner HP. Right. Talk a little bit more about this content because it's the pretty program. left of center. Yeah. Yeah. You know, HP uh, right now has uh, the world's most secure printers and PCs, and that's a line that is cleared with by lawyers, so I can say it. Uh, <laughs> and it, it's it's a hardware level story, and it's a complex technology story. Uh, and we kind of worked with them to say, let's not just go out to market and talk about techs and specs and what's that, what that means to IT decision makers. Let's dramatize the real stakes of what security is. Mm. And the fact that people uh, in companies often forget that their printers are connected to the internet and they're fully functional computers and the weakest link or the back door into massive companies. So uh, we hired Christian Slater and we created two six minute films with no product in it and had full dramatizations of him as sort of this mysterious ethereal hacker taking down a financial institution and then in the subsequent season, season two, he took down uh, a hospital and healthcare facility. Uh, and I think for us, you know, creatively, the question is, uh, we're getting so deep into this universe that is he, what's his motivation? Is he just a bad guy or is he kind of exposing all the holes in the system to, to ultimately make it stronger. What was your hit refresh moment in your career? You know, that time mm -hmm. when you sort of said, yeah, I need to hit this button and sort of pivot and maybe do different things. Yeah, well, I, I, I do. I, I was looking back at my career the other day and I realized I seem to have some massive change every five years. I mean, there's our businesses change every two weeks, but yeah. uh, but personally a massive change every five years. But it's an obvious answer for me because I Four years ago, I don't know what's going to happen next year, but four years ago, <laughs> I, uh, me and my partners, we kind of left pretty cushy corporate gigs at Omnicom and started our own agency. And, and, and part of that was extremely scary, but part of it felt like when you're looking five, ten years ahead of where you want to be and what you want to be doing, we, we kind of wanted to be master, masters of our own fate uh, and build something from scratch that we think fits where the industry is today. So we thought we saw a white space and we jumped into it.